Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. And today I'm coming to share with you a tutorial for these little paper clips, which does have magnetic opening in the back side. Hey, yeah, there is good magnet with a note and with a, come on, with a little pocket behind. Uh, I made this tutorial for my Patreons, but because I shared these uh, images, I think a month ago, as a freebie download, there are two sheets with the these hidden paper clips, like this, this sheet, and then the sheet with those quotes and uh, quotes, more like um, Christmas poems, I would say. Uh, it's for free download. I shared that a month ago, so I will put link down below. Just click on that link and find the blue uh, links. These are file folders where you will find, uh, download them and you will find these images in there. I hope I'm not making this confusing. You can create these cute little uh, paper clips and they don't have to be just as paper clips. They can be like money holder if you want to give them to someone. There is so many options in that video, so uh, you will see. And I just want to say I do have now on my Etsy kind of coordinating collection with Santa's images. I'm already starting to use them, so here you will <laughs> see that parts of are cut out. But uh, images like this, and uh, if you like to create your uh, Christmas cards, or you would like to create some inserts for your journals, I hope these images can help to create beautiful things. So that's on my Etsy right now, and I already started to use them with my Patreon to create... Uh, all kind of stuff like cabinet cards uh, this i shared with my ambassadors because they received from me stamps coordinating stamps so this was actually uh, kind of more about stamping but i used their the images from this collection so you can create a uh, cute cabinet cards or if you like to create your banners i just need to <clears throat> paint my molds I was waiting till they are dry. So you can create your banners using these images. So that collection is on my Etsy. And now tutorial for these paper clips. I hope you will enjoy it. Today we're gonna create these uh, hidden paper clips, including little booklets on one side. Uh, it's a really very easy design. At least I hope. I do have prepared uh, seven simple paper clips. I do have print out my two sheets. I did print out on A4 size, a hundred GSM paper, which I think it will be good enough. You can print out on a little bit heavier if you want so, but I do have a hundred, a hundred, I'm gonna have a look. That's actually 120 GSM uh, paper. My printer is printing with white strip all around, so I'm gonna cut out that strip uh, <clears throat> from this sheet and then uh, I will fold the sheet first like at once on the half or in this middle lane so first I'm gonna fuzzy cut out or here I can cut just sides I can keep this here because that will be hidden But on this side, on that opposite side, I'm gonna try to cut it off. I'm gonna go with the lines. So now I'm gonna fold the paper here. First on this side, just to follow the line. Or you can take scoring board and score this middle line. Middle lane, middle line. Oh, middle lane is road, right? That's all road <laughs> next to us. Middle line is this one, I guess. So I'm gonna fold it here, then I'm gonna fold it opposite way. And then I'm gonna fold here are kind of like slush, 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 slushed dots, lines. So I'll fold it in there. And I do believe it's easy to do it at once. All these paper clips, you know, fold it first, <clears throat> pardon me, then fussy cut out or cut out. 
I think instead of folding each of these strips separately, I do believe this way it's much more easy and faster. So I do have everything folded, now I'm gonna cut the strips. I do have my seven strips. Cut it down. First what I can do is, uh, if I would like to have their sewing effect, I can do sewing on the sides of these strips and sewn also here on the bottom which will be visible. It will be folded this way and here, this way. I forgot to fold that top one. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to fold it that top one. So first uh, I can do sewing kind of on the sides here under the image of the Santa and maybe here uh, where it's fold here. So I can do some sewing or I can keep it as it is. I can distress uh, all these edges. I will definitely distress all these edges. First I'm gonna also fold these which I forgot. I'm going to take my distress, uh, distressing ink and distressing tool and definitely distress the edges and I'm going to also add there that sewing effect because I just love that effect. That's why I bought my sewing machine not to do sewing <laughs> in the home like clothes, <laughs> repairing clothes or so, but to create. And this... It's what I would like to create. I do have folded these. I'm gonna add that sewing effect and distressing all these folds, which will be visible. So everywhere where it will be visible, I'm gonna add a distressing, uh, distressed effect. And here, this edge actually, on these paper clips. I'm gonna have a look if I do have some uh, edge, edge paper punch. Uh, I'm not sure if I do have any. I maybe don't have any uh, decorative paper punch on edges. I had long time ago but I never used them which is such a shame. So before you will cut it you can also make this edge of the paper clips decorative a little bit. It's about Christmas, so any kind of decoration on the edge will be really beautiful. So think about it before you will cut it on those strips to do as many things, as many steps at once because it's much more easy. Okay, I'm gonna add the uh, sewing. I'm gonna have a look if I do have some paper punch on the edges and distressing and I will come back. I do have uh, distressed uh, all my strips for those paper clips. I also fussy cut out these uh, poems and uh, Christmas quotes and I'm distressing all of this with Spectrum Noir Harmony Line Distress Ink. This is Sandstorm and it's really beautiful with this uh, tone and I'm just gonna show you uh, these strips uh, when I fussy cut them out. If you will notice there is a small uh, kind of like corner cut uh, on the end where the picture is. If you want to cut it, you can cut it or you can keep those straight uh, sharp corners. That's totally up to you. Then always between the picture and the quote and here as well, but always between the picture and the quote, there is a line. So the best way how to fold it is to grab this end, fold it to that line, press it, and then fold this and over it and you will have the paper which can fit on the back of the paper clip. So it will fit here. And then uh, I'm distressing all the edges like inside, edges inside and also these two flaps. And as I said, I'm using this uh, Spectrum Noir Distress Ink. First, I'm going with my distressing tool and I'm adding the ink to both of these squares. Sorry, my hands are already dirty. 
So <laughs> it will catch a little bit of that ink. And then to add also to the edges a little bit of ink, I'm taking full pad and it's quite juicy, but I'm having a very light hand and with very light hand, I'm going kind of like over the edges and uh, lifting that uh, ink. This is my table and I'm lifting that ink just with kind of like with the side. I'm not going full pad, but I'm going this way, kind of like with side of my ink pad. Now I do have my ink on my hand. Wonderful. I like this color. So with very light hand over the edges to give there even more of that ink. And I'm going to distress the inside as well. Sorry for that moving. Uh, I do have my sewing all around, not all around, just that way, that way, that way. Uh, I do have it done. I also found <laughs> my broken decorative scissors. Uh, it's kind of missing this side of that plast uh, thingy, but it's still trying to cut ish. <laughs> so I did try to cut ish on most of them. I cut it with this uh, this down and here I somehow swap it and I like both styles so I'm gonna keep it, <laughs> keep it this way so I do have prepared my paper clip uh, papers and also these booklets trifold papers and I'm gonna show you how you can uh, create beautiful beautiful paper clip uh, i also do have here magnets and i'm gonna show you I, how you can add there also magnetic closure for these little booklets so first uh, i'm gonna get up one of these paper clips you don't have to have large paper clip it will hold uh, even with this small one have a look uh, here on this side will go short side of your paper clip on that side will go long side of your paper clip so remember that short side will go here a long side will go over there then this will fold up this will fold here and you will have here this hope and then i do have this edge so i'm gonna get up my glue and as before I'm gonna add the glue here on that end, just lay this down, glue it together, fold this, glue it here. Now here you can glue it straight away or because this has this valet, you can maybe use some of your favorite uh, washi tape. If you do have some Christmas washi tape or maybe piece of a piece of book page with maybe some Christmas, uh, you know, Christmas words or maybe some colorful paper, some glitter washi tape. Oh, glitter washi tape. Ah, just bear with me. I do have glitter washi tapes. Well, I can't find my gl <laughs> glitter washi tape. I have no idea where I place them, but I found this one, this metallic, red metallic washi tape. And I, I think I use that just once and I'm kind of wondering how that will look like if I will place it under maybe it will look stupid so I will have to rip it off but maybe it will look cute mm, not really okay I'm gonna not place in there I can place that piece of book page if I will want so I like the decorative element if I will find any book page I can just place here a piece of book page and place this over it so the book page will be peeking out. Or I can just glue it straight away down. This decorative edge oh, will do the trick. So I'm gonna put the glue here. So you can really play with this. And I do have here base for my booklet. Now, I'm going to take one of these booklets. And I think this one, it's not distressed enough. 
and I take this one this is beautiful it is just and you can just glue it down wherever you want on this spot where it's you know open open so just put the glue here and glue it down you can make it also like a pocket if you will put the glue on the sides and on the bottom of this middle part and glue it here you will have pocket behind and you can put there a little mini tuck or you can put here actually book page do their uh, kind of like stage for this and I think I will actually do that I'm gonna add the book page behind I need some bigger book page oh I do have this with numbers that looks quite awesome and it's visible from both sides I'm gonna rip a little bit of that book page, glue it down. This way. Oh yeah. Here I'm just making layers. I'm just making decorative element. It's nothing what have to be there. You can use some red colors, uh, red colored paper, you know, for the Christmas, or you can use some embossed paper. Maybe you do have your favorite embossing folder. Well, then do your do, do, do piece of embossing paper, then put part of that paper here. And then on the top, you can glue your mini booklet. I'm going to take two magnets. One and two. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna manage where I would like to have that magnetic closure. And the magnet here, I'm gonna cover with this uh, with this uh, special delivery note. Yeah, I think I will like it this way. I can put some stamps here before I will add there. Uh, magnets just to make sure I will don't have to you know uno, oh, I will don't have to slide them again to find which is one so first I'm gonna put a little stamps here here and here just for decoration I do have here this cute little collection from Dockraft with Christmas stamps and it does have a 25th mark and here maybe that stocking so I'm gonna stamp yeah the 25th definitely uh, where is 25th where is ah, okay. 25th oh come on 25th what kind of color I think I'm gonna go for black gonna give it a try first in the middle and just to have a look this way this way oh yeah I think I can do that something else so I do have stamp that 25th and season greeting that's this one uh, now I can fold it put there the magnets oh, oh come on place them on some spots where I will be comfortable with it I'm gonna grab one of these I already put here double sided tape so here I'm gonna secure that magnet with this little strip I can place it this way and on that opposite side on the back side 
I'm gonna actually add the double sided tape over it, over that magnet. And as there is a little bit of space, I can actually put double sided tape on the sides and put here a very teeny small tack. in behind if I will want so. Now I'm gonna take off the double sided tape or I can glue it you know uh, on all that back space but if I will want so I can also make this as a little tiny pocket. And now I can glue it right here. That way I will have teeny tiny small little pocket behind my there. <clears throat> teeny tiny small little pocket behind and I can open it and I do have a quote or poem I do have beautiful picture of the Santa here I need to distress this one And it's magnetic and it's also paper so I can slide it over the page I can put some decoration here in the corners and I could possibly if I will remember before I will glue it all together I could possibly also cut the corners uh, that can be done anytime. I don't like those sharp corners. And here is how they can look like. Uh, I made all of them. So you can use it as a holder maybe for back with, uh, with some sweets, with some, uh, what is it, candy. Uh, I made all magnetic closures, but you can add uh, just in the background, through to the background, just a uh, ribbon and tie the ribbon around. And here, always there is a pocket right here. So any kind of tack, and as you can see, this could be amazing in there. I did use a lot this tape because I think it looks very very beautiful with that uh, with that tape this is Tim Holtz label and that label can fit inside look at that this is from this collection and I do believe it's this one or maybe that one one of these <laughs> and this is colored this is colored Oh, vintage labels, yeah, of course. How, how, what other name? So it can fit right there into that pocket. So as I said, I made all, uh, all these paper clips in that pack magnetic, and I really like how they look like. Uh, it's such a beautiful embellishment. I hope you will enjoy them. So here, this one. You can use it as a holder for tea if you will make some, you know, gift packs or in the journal, you know, on the pages. Uh, I made stitching on the edges, but next time I will choose the rather that cross stitching on the or zigzag stitching on the edges. It will be more decorative. This straight stitching. Or maybe some different color of the thread, you know, to make it visible. It's not visible too much and I think it will be much, much better with different color or that zigzag stitching. But after all, I do like them all. And it's so much fun. They can be a holder or money holder. <laughs> Look at that. I'm so rich. <laughs> I like these. These are like fake money. My son Jacob found them uh, on 
I think AliExpress and he just wanted them. <laughs> so he bought a bunch of them. This is just small amount what he received. So I'm very rich now. <laughs> I took it from him. <laughs> Kinda steal the money from him. <clears throat> Here I put decoration. Just you know in the eyelet. Put decoration. You can put the ribbons. Uh, you know you can totally uh, totally change the look with additional uh, embellishments. You can make some uh, stenciling on it. You can use the, uh, paste, white paste to uh, put that kind of like snowy effect. So this is my sharing for today. Uh, I hope you did enjoy these, uh, these uh, hidden pockets. Hopefully they will be useful through the holiday time. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful, even, you know, it's not too hard to make them, I believe. Thank you so much for jumping in and thank you so, so much for all your amazing support, guys. Really, I appreciate that very much. I hope you know that. So this is my sharing for today. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself. Have a fun with your craft and I will see you soon. Bye.